The Life of Frederick Douglass Frederick Douglass was born on February 1818. He then died on February 20th, 1895. Frederick Douglass also had two wives within his lifetime. His first wife, Anna Marie Douglass, 1838-1882, and his second wife, Helen Pitts Douglas, 1884-1895. He ended up having five kids with his first wife, Anna Marie Douglas. Their names were Rosetta Douglas, Louis Henry Douglas, Charles Raymond Douglas, Frederick Douglas Jr., and Annie Douglas. Frederick Douglas had five kids altogether. His other daughter, Annie Douglas, passed away on March 1st, 1860, at 10 years old from congestion of the brain. After his first wife had passed away, he then later went to marry a white woman named Helen Pitts Douglas, whom was a feminist as well as an American suffragist and abolitionist. She was also 20 years younger than him. A picture of Helen Pitts Douglas. A major piece of literature by Frederick Douglass. A major piece of literature that Frederick Douglass wrote was the narrative of the life of Frederick Douglass an autobiography on himself, written in 1845, Massachusetts, also publicated in 1845. In this piece of literature, he's roughly outspoken and committed, and every so often he would on occasion use an ironic form of tone. Frederick Douglass wrestles to mentally and physically overcome the wretches of slavery and the toll that it has taken on him. Slide continued. He expresses ignorance as a form of slavery. To Frederick Douglass, knowledge was key because it opened the doors and led to the path of freedom. If there is no struggle, there is no progress. Frederick Douglass. Frederick Augustus Washington Bailey, who later changed his name to Frederick Douglass, was born into slavery on the eastern shore of the Chesapeake Bay in Talbot County, Maryland. The plantation was between Hillsborough and Cordova. Frederick Douglass founded his own abolitionist newspaper called The North Star. In doing so, he became a highly respected writer. He used it as an outlet for him and other abolitionist leaders to get their messages out and therefore invoke freedom and equality. His newspaper was distributed to a wide range of people, averaging at about 4,000. Important events in Frederick Douglass's life. He was taught how to read by his slave owner's wife in 1826. He escaped slavery with the help of Anna Marie to the North in 1838. He then later marries her. He also spoke at his first abolitionist meeting in Massachusetts in 1841. He then later gets employed as a lecturer at the Anti-Slavery Society in 1847. Frederick Douglass attended his first women's right convention in Seneca Falls in 1848. He also merged North Star with Garrett Smith, making the Frederick Douglass paper in 1851. I would unite with anybody to do right and with nobody to do wrong. Frederick Douglass. Frederick Douglass led a meaningful life, fighting for human rights that he believed everyone deserved. He has attended many different causes to contribute to society. Frederick Douglass liked the 14th and 15th Amendments because the 14th Amendment allowed African Americans the right to be citizens, and the 15th Amendment allowed African Americans the right to vote. Frederick Douglass was the first African American in U.S. history to be appointed a U.S. Marshal. He became the U.S. Marshal of the District of Columbia, Washington, D.C., by President Rutherford B. Hayes on April 21, 1877. Frederick Douglass was appointed U.S. Minister of Haiti back in 1889. He was also given the title Recorder of Deeds for the District of Columbia. He was appointed by President Benjamin Harrison. He kept his title up to 1891. He was highly respected because they were the highest post that an African-American has ever been appointed in the 19th century. Frederick Douglass was nominated for vice president in 1872. Even though he was the first African-American to be nominated, it was without his consent and he never gave it any attention. When Abraham Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation on December 31st, 1862, Douglas then began to recruit blacks to join the Union Army. Altogether, Douglas tried his best to help others and overcame huge obstacles while contributing to society.